Hello mga Kaps! Did you have a traumatic childhood or depressed as a child? Your childhood experiences may have an impact on why you may be suffering from depression now. People who become depressed at a young age tend to experience more severe symptoms and are less susceptible to treatment because of how long they've gone without help. So, here are seven signs of depression caused by your childhood. But before we begin, I would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and it is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect that you have depression or any mental health condition, I highly advise you to seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Okay, number one, you always feel depressed. Can you recall a time in your life when you were depressed? If you feel like you've always been depressed, it's likely that you are still suffering from unresolved childhood depression and never get a help you needed to overcome your mental illness. The symptoms of depression may have been in your life so long that you don't recognize yourself without it. Number two, you don't have happy childhood memories. Does hearing other people talking about their happy memories when they're with their family make you feel sad or confused? Well, that's because you or your family mistreated you or that you have a destructive home life. Your childhood experiences may have been a great time in your life that you don't like to look back on. The feelings of uh, guilt, regrets, and confusion over your childhood memories may continue to manifest into adulthood and to feelings of depression. Number three, you don't know how to handle your emotions. Did you throw tantrums or have shouted a lot when you were a child? Some of the hallmarks of childhood depression is emotional validity. When you don't know how to regulate and control your emotions from a young age, it's only going to get worse as you grow older. So, if you never learned healthy coping mechanisms for dealing with your feelings like sadness, grief, anger, or loneliness, it can easily lead you to develop depression and anxiety. Number four, you struggle with low self-esteem. Do you tend to be quiet, withdrawn, and unsure of yourself? According to the American Psychological Association, feelings of unworthlessness are symptomatic of clinical depression. For those whose depression is rooted in their childhoods, their depression may have been engraved in their sense of identity that has kept them in performing a positive view of themselves entirely. Number five. You have difficulty with close relationships. Are you socially withdrawn? Do you isolate yourself from your loved ones? Those who have suffered from depression since childhood find it more difficult to form a and maintain close meaningful relationships. Your past may have left you with psychological scars that until this day still hurt you ab your ability to be emotionally vulnerable with others. You may have a deep-seated fear of intimacy and an insecure attachment style brought about by your traumatic childhood, which has taught you to be wary of love. Number six, you shut down when things go wrong. Do you shut down when things go wrong? Those with childhood depression were never taught the right way of handling setbacks or, or overcoming challenges, challenges they face. They may be ought to give up of themselves and their goals no matter how much they want them because they are so used to being let down. Because their childhood depression has taken away their resilience and emotional maturity to deal with those challenges. They may also be overly self-critical, blaming themselves for their failures. And number seven, you don't look forward to anything. Do you live in a state of constant hopelessness? Because you've lived most of your life feeling this way, nothing excites you or inspires you anymore. 
The feeling that the future will only be as weak as your past may be stemming from your unresolved emotional trauma from your childhood. This lack of emotional or inspiration to move forward may only worsen your feeling of depression. Do you relate to any signs mentioned here? If so, know that you're not alone. And don't hesitate to reach out to a mental health care professional. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to click the subscribe and bell button to get you notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Okay, bye for now. Keep safe and God bless.